Hello YouTube, I am that one guy with the awesome hat, and unfortunately I do wear hats in these videos, and I, even though I feel like in this video I almost feel like I should go hatless because this video is so, this, I mean not, not this video, this movie is so bad that I don't want to disgrace my hat by talking about it while wearing it. But either way, for you I will do it YouTube. And we're going to talk about Star Wars Episode 2, Attack of the Clones. I think that's the title. I don't know. The TV show that goes between episodes two and three is much, 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 was much, 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 a thousand times better than episode two, Attack of the Clones, or Army of the Clones, or whatever the hell you want to call it. Because that movie, the fight scene, let's see, we had Dooku versus uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi and Anakin Skywalker. Dooku kicked their ass. That was kind of boring. His lightsaber is not very cool looking either. Yoda... Yeah, we have the first experience of Yoda, but not as much as we do in Episode 3, which is the better Yoda fight scene. We have the Qui-Gon... I'm oh, not quite. Um, Obi-Wan, Anakin, and Padme against the... What do you want to call them? The monster thingies when they're trapped in that arena. And then that then when Mace Windu just totally kills Jango Fett and, like, that. He just decapitates him. He's like, oh, guess what? I can deflect all of your lasers. Slice your head off. And then that gives character development for Boba. But you know what? It was still pretty lame way for the dad of one of the coolest Star Wars characters to die. But we do have epic moments in this. Yes, with all movies, every mo movie has an epic moment. And one movie that the one moment that a lot of people think is overreacting is honestly the best moment in the entire movie. And that is when Anakin Skywalker sees that his mother Shmi Skywalker is getting has been captured by the Sand Raiders, the Tusken Raiders, and has been killed basically, tortured until she's dead. And then he flips the fuck out, and you see it. He comes out of there pre-Darth Vader eyes, and he is pissed, and he murders them, all of them, and then he tells Padme about it, he's like, I killed them, the women, and the children, I slayed them like animals, and people were like, oh, you know, he's overreacting, Hayden Christensen is overreacting in the scene, his mother just got fucking killed, and he watched her die. He watched her, he knew that she was tortured and then watched her die, actually die, die. And he killed them, and that was an epic scene that we needed to prove that there is actually some transition from Anakin Skywalker, good guy, to Darth Vader. And then back to good guy. But either way, which is your favorite prequel down below? Probably not this one, because this one sucks! It is at the very bottom of the epic Star Wars list. Thanks for watching, goodbye YouTube.